The day began with a walk in the gardens. No ordinary walk, mind you. This was along an aerial pathway in a huge glass dome, complete with a waterfall. And no ordinary gardens. These are Singapore's Gardens by the Bay, a spectacular garden project conceived and designed by British engineers. The crowds had gathered, their first real chance to see William and Kate. And, as they always do, the couple took their time. Crouching down to talk to children who'd been waiting in the heat and reaching out to shake as many hands as possible. Disappointing a few for whom the handshake never materialised, but delighting an overwhelmingly British crowd. I think they're a fantastic influence on the country. I think they've done Britain a world of good. They're just a, such a special couple. Um, they're young, they're young, young and fresh for the royal family. Across the city, they saw something of local culture. There were Chinese lion dancers doing Chinese lion dances and demonstrations of Malay martial arts. I'm going to come and join you for some painting. At a children's centre, Kate joined in with an art class. And at a Rolls-Royce factory, she completed work on a new jet engine. Will this kind of thing be the story in tomorrow's papers? Possibly not. Running alongside the focus on community events such as this and promoting British business is the focus on the couple themselves and most particularly on Kate. Or Kate plus a family to be more precise. The couple met a lot of children today and to one of them William said that he hopes he and Kate will have two. Children that is. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News, Singapore.